So I decided to make a little bit of a change uh, compared to what my original thought was. Uh, you can see there's this big mess behind me. Uh, we moved a bunch of dirt. I didn't film any of that. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a retaining wall uh, for this side of the house, just because all that, the steepness of the uh, pad itself, uh, just it was just creating a mess. It was all getting to be sloppy, even putting topsoil and laying grass. It was just too steep. It would have been hard to maintain, you know, mowing and all that stuff. So I decided I'm gonna just build a retaining wall instead. Um, so we already kind of moved some dirt up on top and we're gonna start laying some blocks, which I have in my truck. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it looks. So the first thing we gotta do, obviously, is get everything level, uh, pretty much straightened up. So it's gonna be a nice clean edge. Um, that's what my dad's working on right now. And then I'll do a little time lapse and hopefully we'll get it all done in a couple hours. Man, oh man, we are so close. It's looking really good. Um, I haven't decided if I wanna add one more row up. We are gonna still bring in some topsoil, so we might have to add one more row. Still got some extra bricks there, got some over there. But I'll just uh, walk around and kinda show you what it looks like. You can kinda see the angle there. So I'm going to get started with the dog yard now. Um, we're going to keep it nice and simple. It's just going to be T-posts and uh, wire mesh. But, uh, you know, our dogs are really good. They, they don't really go anywhere. I'm sure that we could go without having a yard. But the responsible thing to do, obviously, for both ourselves and our neighbors is to still keep them in a yard uh, while we're both at work. Um, so we're just going to start pounding T-posts, and uh, that's pretty much it. And we'll go from there. To further elaborate on how this whole layout is going to work, this is going to be our parking area right here. So from the road, we'll be able to pull in here, park our cars. And then over here, we're going to have a walkway that runs on the inside of the H frame right there. And then we'll do some gravel or something on the ground. Um, from the well house to the house, we'll keep 
it'll be the same material as the porch so it'll be a nice kind of wooden fence here because that'll look good and then off this side of the porch where my dad is will be t-posts kind of coming out to the road along that way and we'll kind of go from there so so to give you a little bit closer look you can see those lines there um, this one here is going to be where the actual edge of the porch is that'll be about where the beginning of the steps are and then about right here or so is where the initial gate is going to go and then it'll connect to the well house right here not sure if you can see it on the camera but we have our corners chosen we got line running to the well house line running all the way out that way and then we have our line running to that post as well so we measured everything we got our line now every 10 feet we're going to put in a t-post Take two. So we have one small issue. Uh, we're kind of on the second to last uh, section of this fencing, the dog fence. Um, so our plan was to come along this line, our last T-post is out here, and then we we're gonna run it to the house. But in between this one and this one, there's a pretty big gap. You probably can't see it. Uh, there's a huge low spot right here that runs. There's kind of like a little small uh, wash right here. So what we're gonna do is take dirt from over here and try to bring it this way to grade this whole area. Um, that way the actual wire mesh fencing will stay a consist consistent height rather than having like a weird, you know, drop like that. So before I can get the backyard fully fenced in, which I guess is, we're calling the dog yard, um, I have to put up a fence right here between the house and the well house. Um, I'm gonna do kind of a standard like wood picket fence, kind of like a privacy fence, but it'll, it'll only be four foot tall rather than six or eight feet tall. Um, so I just figured it'd be a lot easier than trying to stretch T-posts with wire and stuff between the two houses. So I'm gonna go set a couple four by fours on the ground and then I'll start building the fence. And uh, yeah, should look pretty good. One thing to remember when you're doing a project like this is obviously making sure that the top of the post is level with the other. Um, what I did at first was I just measured from the top of the post to the ground level and then I looked, I kind of stepped back and looked at it and I realized the ground level wasn't the same so that measurement doesn't work at all. Uh, so I just threw one of the cedar uh, fence pickets up there and then I'll lay a level across it to make sure that it's all level from one side to the next and then I'll have to adjust the ground level instead to make sure that everything's nice and smooth.
Oh, man, a project just wouldn't be fun if there weren't complications, huh? Seems like every time <laughs> there's always something. Uh, so this hole I'm digging right here, uh, I ran into one of the uh, tornado anchors that's hooked up to this. You can't see it, but it's in the ground, kind of at an angle. And as I'm digging down in the spot that I already measured out, of course, there's one of those anchors there. So I'm having to make some small adjustments. And then on this post right here, I hit a uh, water line. <laughs> so, I mean, luckily, I mean, I, I kind of knew it would be in the area. Um, so I was being careful, but unfortunately the spot that I chose had a water line. So I had to adjust and choose a different spot for that also. So this one tiny little project, just getting these posts set, is taking a whole lot longer because of course I'm running into stuff. So we'll get it figured out, it'll still look good, uh, but taking a little longer than I hoped for. So I got all three posts set and leveled. Just gotta get some concrete poured in there, uh, backfill it, level it all out, and then I'll start working on the gate and uh, the actual pickets. So right here next to the well house, let's see, this post here, uh, one in the corner over there, one here, one over there. So there's six total posts that I gotta do, uh, and I'm gonna use, let me back it on up. I bought these pre-treated uh, wood posts. They're pine, just pre-treated, basically like a telephone pole. Bought them from Ace Hardware. Uh, so I'm gonna stick those suckers in the ground and uh, get some concrete and then we'll be able to put up the fence. I got the first one put in. It is definitely a pain in the butt because I'm using the hand post hole digger. Uh, my dad's out on the tractor right now so we can't put on the uh, post hole digger implement. Uh, so I'm doing these six by hand. <laughs> definitely not fun, but uh, it's going quick enough. All right, exciting day. So this morning we're finally gonna get started on the woven wire fence material for the dog yard. Um, so my dad is just rolling out the roll of it right now. Uh, we're gonna start cutting the first piece. I gotta install one more brace post 
uh, that we hadn't installed before so I'll do that real quick and then uh, we'll get started putting up some wire. Okay, so we measured out our first piece um, after I got this brace put in. Um, my dad's right here unraveling it. We're gonna try this uh, one way. I've seen a lot of people do it different ways, but we pre-cut it to length, uh, including about six squares worth of extra wire to wrap around. Um, so we'll see how it goes. We've never done this before, so uh, we'll let you know <laughs> how it turns out. As you can see, we've got a good chunk of the dog yard fencing up. So it goes all the way around. We've got a gate right there that goes out to our fire pit area. And they are currently working on this last long side of the yard. And then they've just got this short bit that goes up to the retaining wall and then to the house, so there's going to be a wood gate here, and then another wood gate over here. This is the last little area of the dog fence that I have to do. It's going to get a little bit weird because basically we're going to go in line with the corner of the house uh, here 
but obviously we have the retaining wall now. So I'm gonna have to concoct some kind of crazy thing where it's four feet, you know, here, and then it continues along and is four feet there so that the dogs can't just jump over. Uh, so it's gonna be a little weird and I uh, don't know how I'm gonna do it yet, but I'm sure I'll figure something out. So you can see right here, uh, we got this whole section of the fence done. Uh, we didn't film anything because the priority was just to get it done. So I didn't want to take the time to mess with the camera. Uh, our baby's already here. We just need to get moved into this house and, and everything settled in. So we got these three pieces of the fence done. All we have to do is build the gate right there and then the dog yard will be complete. Uh, so I'll show you what the gate looks like uh, here in just a second and then we'll be done with the whole project. Okay, here is the final look at this side of the dog yard. Um, again, for now, just ignore these gaps at the bottom. That's gonna get fixed once we put in these final uh, retaining wall blocks and then this dirt will get backfilled. So that whole gap is gonna get filled, grass will get put in here. Um, but obviously, we just try to go off the top line. So when the dogs are jumping around playing, they're not gonna be able to jump from here way over there, there's just no way. Um, and then we kept this in line with the woven wire. So that is the other side of the house and uh, we're pretty excited to have it all done. That wraps up this video. Uh, thanks for watching. I know this was kind of a long one, um, but it was quite a project. We've never done woven wire fencing and all that kind of stuff. So it was definitely quite a project, but it was good learning experience. So thanks for following. Make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video.